Good day everyone! I'll be discussing about the revised Bloom's Taxonomy, the Cognitive Domain. The hierarchy of Bloom's Taxonomy is the widely accepted framework through which all teachers should guide their students through the cognitive learning process. In other words, teachers use this framework to focus on higher order thinking skills. You can think of Bloom's Taxonomy as a pyramid with simple knowledge-based recall questions at the base. Building up through this foundation, you can ask your students increasingly challenging questions to test their comprehension of a given material. By asking these critical thinking questions or higher order questions, you are developing all levels of thinking. Students will have improved attention to detail as well as an increase in their comprehension and problem-solving skills. There are six levels in the framework. Here is a brief look at each of them and a few examples of the questions that you would ask for each component. This is our first level, that is remembering. It is where students find or remember information. We can use the following verbs like lists, find, name, identify, locate, describe, memorize, or define. We can ask questions like, what is, where is, how would you describe, or name the parts of. In this level, students are asked questions to see if they have gained insight from the lesson. We move to the next level and that is understanding. This is where the student understand and makes sense of the information given to them. The verbs that we can use are the following. Interpret, summarize, explain, infer, paraphrase, and discuss. We can ask questions like, what is the main idea? How would you summarize? Explain the process of or discuss how. In this level, students will be asked to interpret facts that they learned. We are now in the next level and that is applying. In this level, students use information in a new but similar form. We can use the following verbs like use, diagram, make a chart, draw, apply, solve, or calculate. Questions that we can ask are the following. Make a chart to represent. Calculate how much. How would you solve? Or how would you use? In this level, questions are meant to have students apply or use the knowledge learned during the lesson. We are now in the next level and that is analyzing. In this level, students take information apart and explore relationship. The following verbs that we can use are categorize, examine, organize, compare, or contrast. At this level, students will be required to go beyond knowledge and see if they can analyze a problem. Questions that we can ask are the following. What is the theme? Examine the examples. Compare the two regions in terms of and how would you classify? Let us move to the next level and that is evaluating. In this level, students critically examine information and make judgment. The following verbs that we can use are judge, critique, test, defend, or criticize. In this level, this is where students are expected to assess the information learned and come to a conclusion about it. We may ask questions like, defend your answer, critique the paper of, or test whether this method is, or how would you evaluate? We move to the last level and this is what we call creating. This is where students use information to create something new. We may use verbs such as design, build, plan, construct, produce, devise, or invent. We consider this level as the highest form of learning. We may use the following questions or objectives. 
design an art project that make a book report construct word problems that involves or plan an outreach program that why use the bloom's taxonomy first one is objectives or learning goals are important to establish in a pedagogical interchange so that teachers and students alike understand the purpose of that interchange second Organizing objectives helps to clarify objectives for themselves and for students. And lastly, having an organized set of objectives helps teachers too. First is to plan and deliver appropriate instruction. Second, design valid assessment tasks and strategies. And third, ensure that instruction and assessment are aligned with the objectives and that's all for today thank you have a nice day